Hey, what's going on, guys? This is your boy Shadow Slayer from Team Sentinel. I'm here with my fellow teammate, Kiefer. He is, I mean, going to debut his dragon deck that he's been doing pretty well with lately. Uh, this is his version of Chaos Dragons. So, Kiefer, tell me what you got. Uh, I've basically been started doing a dragon build because I've liked dragons ever since I started playing Yu Gi Oh! I run two Lancer Lindworms that are dragon type, they do piercing, uh, 1800 attack. So, not only. You chose them not only for the fact that they're high attack, but because of the fact they're piercing too, so I'll just get through defenses. Exactly. Like Spirit Reaper. Like Spirit Reaper, Marsh Milan, uh, all those pain cards. Uh, Mirage Dragons, their ability states that during battle phase your opponent can activate trap cards. So when I've got a massive field and my opponent's got a full back row, if I have one on uh, one of him on the field, I can attack freely without worrying about mirror force or deep prisons or anything like that that would destroy my cards. Not to mention they are light types. And on this play mat is hand drawn. Kiefer did it himself. Uh, hit him up on his YouTube channel, Cutthroat Romeo. He'll try to hook you up with one at a reasonable price. I run two Dragonity Javelins. Uh, they're good if I need a... They're two-star tuners. I've got a Field Spell, Dragon's Ravine. If I ditch a card, I can get a Dragonity to hand, which I can use whenever I need a tuner. And who taught you into playing that? Yeah, that was you. All right, then. I've got two Divine Dragon's Apocalypse, which, again, Matt taught me into playing. Uh, that has worked out. Yes, it has worked out really well. Uh, if I have a Red Eyes in Grave and I can't get him back, I can ditch a card, get Red Eyes to hand, banish him, and get Red Eyes Darkness Metal to field. You so you can ditch a Light Pulsar, bring back Red Eyes, especially summon Red Eyes, bring back Light Pulsar. Yeah. Exactly, it's a loop. I run three White Stone of Legends because as soon as they're sent for the graveyard by from the deck, hand, or field, they allow me to get a Blue Eyes to hand as well as they are a one-star tuner. Oh, I mentioned they're shiny. And who taught you to play in those? Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I also run three Blue Eyes. And yes, this ahead. is a combination deck. Hey, yeah, go ahead and show this one off. It's a dull terminal. I run three Blue Eyes because I run Thunder and Dragon. He is a powerhouse overlay. As well as their 3,000 point beaters. Look at that. Look at how clean that looks as a super. You can't tell me that's not prettier than Ultra. Then I run two Prime Material Dragons for Chain Burn decks because their ability states that any effect damage turns into increasing power. Also, I can ditch card, save any monster that would be destroyed. I run two Light Pulsars. If they're sent to the graveyard, I can get Red Eyes Darkness Metal back to the field and then just use Red Eyes Darkness Metal bring him back. I run the heart of my deck, three Red Eyes Darkness Metals. They can special summon any dragon regardless of level from hand or graveyard. He don't get to be with him. He's not yeah. super. Yeah, but he's still my baby. And then I run three Wyverns. If they're in graveyard, if I don't normal summon, I can banish one, get red eyes to field. It's great. Not to mention he's 1800 attack. So, I mean, he's a great four star kicker. Uh, that's it for monsters, for spells. I run two gold sarcophagus, which speeds up if I need certain cards. Like if I'm facing a uh, burn deck, I can go for. Uh, prime material. Prime material or heavy yeah, storm. Your future fusion, my your future storm. fusion. You can usually stall out two turns to get what you need. Yeah. Everybody know. Everybody knows why you play Monster Reborn. Yeah. Uh, Staple. Heavy storm. I, I noticed. I run one mystical. That's it. Staple. Dark hole. Future fusion. It brings out the five headed dragon, which is a major plus, but really I run it to feed my graveyard. Or if you really wanted to, you can just use go for ultimate feature graveyard for blue eyes. And yeah. Just bounce the crap. I use terraforming. Uh, it basically it lets me get a field spell to hand, so it's like having four field spells. I run three dragon ravines. That allows me to feed my graveyard as well as if, like my Dragonity Javelin, if I need a tuner, I can get it to hand. That's it for spells. Good show, good show. Now what we got in the trap lineup? For as far as traps, two staple solemn warnings. That's to negate summons. Right. 
run two Starlight Roads. Uh, negates allows me to special summon a Stardust Dragon. So, I mean, Dark Hole comes up, Heavy Storm comes up, I can negate it. Not to mention you can use your tuner, go in the try to drag in and just obliterate your opponent. Yeah, that too. Mirror Force. Staple. Basically. Two D Prisons. Seemingly staples. Yeah, they're... Second rate staples. Yeah. They're 2.0 staples. Exactly. Tier, tier 2 staples. All right, show us the extra deck. I mean, extra deck. The extra deck I run, which is actually a new addition to my deck, Exploder Dragon Wing. He's real good as far as, uh, as long as your opponent doesn't have anything over 2,400, he does great burn damage, as well as he's great to get over Marshmallow and stuff like that because he destroys them instantly. As you guys can read, there's this effect. Any questions? Yeah. I run Black Rose Dragon for field destruction. You know what they do. I'm not explaining that one. Three Stardust Dragons. Um, Everybody knows why I start. Yeah. Uh, three Iron Chain Dragons. Three Iron Chain Dragons because if I deal damage, your opponent loses top three cards of their deck. It's always great. Not to mention it's a mid-step into Synchro. Two Red Dragon Archfiends for pesky defenses that don't want to be destroyed by battle. Yep. Trident Dragon, he's actually a new addition to my deck. He's major pain. He's real good because he can attack up to three times, get him on the field. He can do a total of 9,000 damage. Yep. Uh, I run two Thunder End Dragons. He's got the ability, if you detach, he can destroy the whole field. He's great if you got a Light Pulsar and a Red MD on field. You can destroy everything your opponent has and get... Yeah. It's a JD, get, basically. Get, yeah, you can get Red Eyes back and then loop it. Then Five God, he doesn't really hit the field that much, but he's still a pain because he can't... Yeah, he can't be destroyed by anything but a Light Monster. Plus, he's a 5,000-point beater. I'll just MST it. And then I use uh, Prime Material. Yeah. And the only dragon that I don't, uh, the only non dragon card I don't run is a Cadaster. So this entire deck is a purely soul based dragon deck outside of this one. Except card. for Cadaster. Oh. And his ability destroys anything but a live, uh, dart monster. All right. Well, Kiefer, I want to appreciate taking the time, showing me your deck. Um, I know you guys have been asking for it lately, so that is Kiefer's dragon build. Uh, rate, comment, like, and subscribe. This is Shadow Slayer and Kiefer from Team Sentinel, and we're out.